15 seconds after the round is supposed to have ended, he takes another flurry of heavy blows. Matapos nakakuha ng 18 na panalo ang Pinoy na si Carlo Magali alias Ferocious na tubong Talibon Bohol at naangkin ang Asian Boxing Federation featherweight title. Naisip ng kanyang kampo na sapat na ito upang isabak sa malaking laban sa labas ng bansa. Lumipad ang team ni Magali papuntang Australia upang sagupain ang Australian champion na si David Brown Jr., 28 years old na alias Dynamite. Hindi basta-bastang kalaban itong si Brown mga tol dahil isa itong Australian Super Bantamweight Champion at WBF International Super Bantamweight Champion at nagmula ito sa pitong magkasunod na panalo. Tara mga tol ating panoorin kung sino ang dapat sisihin dito sa pagkawala ni Brown sa kamay ng Pinoy na si Magali sa unang laban nito sa labas ng bansa. Ngunit bago yan, welcome dito sa ating panibagong video at salamat sa suporta sa ating munting channel. Ang laban ng Magali vs. Brown ay para sa bakanting IBF Pan Pacific Super Federate title na naganap sa RSL Club sa Englebourne, Australia noong 2015. Itong Australian boxer na si David Brown mga tol ay napuruhan hanggang sa bumagsak mula sa mga malalakas na suntok ng Pinoy na si Magali nang may 15 seconds pa ang natitira dito sa round 11. 15 seconds after the round is supposed to have ended, he takes another flurry of heavy blows. Talagang napakasama na ang pagbagsak nito mga tol, ngunit nasave pa ito sa pagtunog ng bell. Pero wala man lang ginawa ang ring doktor na si Lawrence at ang referee na si Charlie upang suriin ang kalagayan ni Brown mula sa pagbagsak. As you'll see for yourself, it was entirely avoidable. This was an international title event with many experienced boxing officials watching on. A referee, a doctor and two inspectors from the government's combat sports authority. Any one of them had the power to stop the fight. Sa pag-umpisa ng round 12 mga tol, hirap na sa pagtayo si Brown ngunit sa kagustuhan nilang manalo dahil sobra ang kalamangan ni Brown sa scorecards, siguradong panalo kung matapos niya ang round 12. As the bell for the start of the final round sounds, Davy is struggling to get back to his feet. Nasa kanyang corner ang kanyang kapatid na si Tommy Brown at ang trainer na si Tad Makilim. Ngunit may pag-aalanganin itong si Tommy na ituloy ang laban ngunit sabi ni David na okay pa siyang lumaban. Nang nakita ito ng referee na si Charlie na nag-usap pa ang magkapatid, tinulak ng referee si Tommy papalabas ng ring at hinila si David sa gitna para umpisahan na ang laban. The referee pushes Tommy out of the ring and Davy is pulled to the center. His corner is stalling for time. I knew that he was hurt. I didn't realize how bad he was hurt. The referee pushes Tommy out of the ring and Davy is pulled to the center. Amy has watched the footage of the fight many times. David Sr. was ringside and Amy was in the crowd. Davy wins the early rounds, but by round six, he's struggling. Amy has watched the footage of the fight many times, but... In the 11th round, with a broken hand, Davy starts unraveling. Fifteen seconds after the round is supposed to have ended, he takes another flurry of heavy blows.
Look at him. He can't even sit down by himself. As the bell for the start of the final round sounds, Davy is struggling to get back to his feet. His corner is stalling for time. I knew that he was hurt. I didn't realise how bad he was. The referee pushes Tommy out of the ring and Davy is pulled to the centre. The referee pushes Tommy out of the ring and Davy is pulled to the centre. The neurosurgeon who investigated believes by now Davy is concussed. But no one, the ref, his trainer, the doctor, nor ringside officials intervene. Ang ringside doctor sa laban ay naniniwala na limitado lang ang kanyang tungkulin, kaya hindi na siya tumayo upang tingnan ang kalagayan ng fighter. Ngunit ang referee ay dapat nakapagdesisyon na kung ano ang dapat gawin mula sa maraming suntok na naipatama ni Magali sa round 11 na wala nang naikounter si Brown. Of heavy blows. At hindi na inapply ng referee ang mandatory 8 counts nang bumangga ito sa lubid. Ang mandatory 8 counts mga tol ay makakatulong sa isang fighter na makapagpahinga at dito din malaman ng referee ang response ng isang boxer kung kaya pa ba nitong lumaban. Dahil sa pagpatuloy sa laban mga tol, napabagsak ni Magali si David Brown Jr. sa huling 30 seconds ng laban. Tulog kaagad si Brown at minadali nila itong dinala sa ospital. Ngunit sa loob ng ilang araw na kuma si Brown Jr. dahil sa massive brain hemorrhage o pagdurugo ng utak. Hanggang sa binawian si Brown ng buhay at naiwan nito ang asawa at dalawang anak. So confronting is the final round, we can only show you the first few seconds. I was afraid that he was wrong. Davy Brown suffered a massive brain hemorrhage. This week, the coroner will hand down findings into his death. But what's already clear is that someone in authority should have acted earlier to stop the fight. Tungkol naman sa inyong opinion mga tol kung sino ang dapat sisihin sa laban, pag-usapan na lang natin yan sa baba. Salamat sa suporta sa mga kapwa kong siman, mga OFW at mga boxing fans o shoutout sa tanang mga Bisaya Diha. Channel Nato ni Bay. Mga tol, kamusta? Gusto bang makakita ng bakbakan na tunay na labanan? Balitang boxing, pag-uusapan, nag-aapoy ang bawat laban.